Hey there and welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to transform raw data from taxis, ships, or airlines into an eye-catching and insightful map inside Power BI, you're in the right place. By the end of today's video, you'll know exactly how to create a dynamic route map that not only visualizes your connections from point A to point B, but also makes patterns like busiest routes and different transport modes instantly clear. Whether you're working with city taxi trips, shipping records, or airline flight paths, I'll show you how to bring your data to life and make your report stand out. So let's jump right in. First things first, inside Power BI, you'll need to choose which visual you want to use for mapping your routes. Make sure you're in Report View, which is where you build and customize your dashboards. Now by default, Power BI gives you a lot of visual choices, but for actual route maps, where you want to see lines drawn from the origin to the destination, you'll want something a little more specialized. This is where custom visuals come into play. Head over to the Visualizations pane on the right side of your screen and look for the little ellipsis or the Get More Visuals option. Click that and it will take you to the App Source Marketplace, where you can find a ton of extra visuals created by the community and Microsoft partners. Search for Root Map, and you'll see specialized visuals designed specifically for mapping connections like taxi rides, sea routes, or flight paths. Go ahead and add that to your Power by Visuals. With your route map visual now available, drag it onto your report canvas. You'll notice there are several fields to fill in, and each plays a critical role in how your data gets displayed. In the fields area of the visual, start by assigning your asterisk origin coordinates asterisk. Put your origin latitude into the start latitude box, and your origin longitude into the start longitude box. Then do the same for destinations. Map your destination latitude and longitude accordingly. Next up comes asterisk weight asterisk. This is typically the number of trips or how much traffic flows along each route. Drop your trips measure here. The route lines will automatically get thicker or depending on the settings, more vibrant for busier connections. If you want to distinguish between types of transport, like taxis versus ships versus flights, add your transport mode field into the category area. Now different colors will indicate each category, making it much easier to compare traffic between say, airlines and taxis at a glance. As soon as you fill in those fields, your route map comes alive. You'll see actual lines going from each origin to its destination, and right away, you can spot which paths are most popular just by glancing at the thickness or color intensity of the lines. Think of it like a subway map, but it grows in complexity or simplicity as your data evolves, a fantastic way to quickly communicate where your business or data flow is concentrated. To really get the most out of your map, hover over any line and you'll see tooltips pop up with even more information. The route name, exact number of trips, and other details you've included in your data set. This makes interacting with your data so much more meaningful, since you can answer deeper questions just by pointing your mouse. A quick word on real-world uses. Taxi companies often use these maps to spot which city pairs generate the most rides and where demand is rising or falling. Shipping companies rely on visualizing their busiest sea lanes to optimize logistics, while airlines can clearly see how their flight networks are evolving over time. And honestly, you might even find some surprising trends you didn't expect once you start playing with your own data. So don't worry if it takes a few tries to line up all your fields correctly. The route map visual is super flexible and forgiving. With practice, you'll be mapping out your data routes in no time. If you found this tutorial helpful, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to see more Power by tips like this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more straightforward step-by-step -step guides. Thanks for watching and good luck building your own route maps in Power by.